There are various annotations that can be added to a drawing to give more details about a design. These can be found along the top panel, the first being geometric symbols. These can be added to show different centre points as well as a line that extends to show where two edges would eventually meet. Next, dimensions can be added which show the value of various measurements on a design drawing. For these, you can give more information on the sizing and possible anthropometrics of a design. Text can be added to add specific information on a label, and if something is more universal, then symbols can also be added to give more concise information. This is something that can be very useful when designs are being shared on an international level, allowing for effective communication between people that may speak different languages. Then finally, the table drop-down menu provides you with the opportunity to have organised annotations within a table. This can be created using an auto table, a custom table, a parts list, a bend table and also balloons can be added. Then the last two options allow you to modify the arrangement and numbering of balloons. With this example I'm going to select the part list which can be very useful in terms of manufacturing of a design as it allows the person to check the stock of different components and order parts if required. You will then be prompted to place the table within the drawing by left clicking. But before doing so you can select the structure that is included. When using this function, balloons will automatically be added onto the drawing, which can be used to check which components are which. Once the table has been added, you can also double click on it to decide on further information that is included. Then click close once you're happy with how it looks and the table will be created.